My name is Kyle Foley and I'm the Senior Program Manager for our Sustainable Seafood Program here at the Gulf of Maine Research Institute. We work with restaurants and grocery stores and college dining halls and school cafeterias to try to help them to buy more regional seafood from the Gulf of Maine. Sometimes when we tell people that we do that, they say, well, why do you need to do that? Don't we have plenty of local seafood that's coming from our backyard right here in New England? And that's true when it comes to certain species. Lobster obviously is one of the biggest parts of our fishing industry here in the state of Maine. Um, in other parts of New England, scallops are another really big part of our fishing industry. Um, and so when you're eating species like that, there's you know, a very, very good chance that they're coming from right here in our own backyard. But for other parts of the fishing industry in New England today, that's not always true. One example is you know, when you think of haddock and cod and these flaky white fish that we are, are used to eating here in New England. And unfortunately today, that part of our industry has a really tough time competing in this big global marketplace. So there is a lot of seafood that is being imported into the US and into New England from other parts of the world today. And when it comes to species like haddock, um, there are actually other parts of the world like Norway and Iceland and even Alaska um, and Russia that are harvesting much larger quantities of some of these same flaky white fish species that we have here in the Gulf of Maine. And so it's become hard for some of that part of our fishing industry here and fishing communities to compete. And sadly, it's sometimes easier for a restaurant or a, a market to buy that seafood. It's more readily available, it's cheaper to buy it from other parts of the world than it is to access it right here. So. That's why we do some of the work that we do, is to try to make it easier, to try to connect those dots for restaurants, for consumers who wanna eat local seafood. And we always recommend three really simple things to people. So one is just to ask questions about where your seafood is coming from. Number two is to ask for local. Um, we know by working with restaurants and chefs and buyers um, at markets that when they hear from their customers, it makes a big difference. So you have a lot of power as a shopper, as an eater, as someone who wants to support coastal communities to ask those questions and to keep asking them um, even if you don't maybe get the answer you're looking for the first time around. And then finally, we encourage people to eat a broader diversity of the seafood that we have here in the Gulf of Maine. We have a really amazing range of shellfish and a wide diversity of fish species from Atlantic pollock to bluefin tuna to mackerel to monkfish clams and mussels and oysters and kelp. We just have this amazing range of seafood that's right here in our own backyard and it's good for us, it's good for our health to eat a diversity of seafood and it's good for fishermen and their livelihoods and sea farmers and um, the coastal communities that depend on the water for their businesses and, and to keep their communities thriving.